guys what's good so today i'm gonna take you through my hair treatment process i do this about once a week and it's how you go from washing it to curling it to having your day one hair if you're like me for some damn reason everything will just go empty on you at the same time so i'm talking makeup and i'm talking hair stuff everything just decides to be empty and done with around the same time so i did a little bit of a haul that i'll show you guys um and then i'll also show you the process that i do once a week to do my hair properly um from twisting and gel and how i actually use the product so let's get into it when it comes to shampoo the first thing i need to say is that you need to understand that the reason that people, especially for curly hair, are so keen on the fact that it has to be natural is because, especially with the curly texture, what they found is that a lot of the shampoos that you can buy, just like Walmart or wherever, uh, share a lot of the ingredients with dishwasher soap. Now, we need moisture. It's just the thing. Not a lot of curly girls have oily hair. So if you do, hey, holler at me in the comments because that is cool. Um, I have yet to meet one though. For some reason, our hair is actually just naturally really, really dry. So you don't want to strip your hair of anything else. So you need an as natural as possible shampoo, um, but you also don't need to shampoo your hair that often. So what I usually use that's actually my favorite is the OGX Coconut. Um, I usually get the huge bottle in it. Uh, currently ran out, went to the salon, or where I get my um, hair salon stuff, and uh, they didn't have it there. So um, I will also say that I tried the Kinky Curly one, and although it smells freaking amazing, it dries out my hair. If you are one of those girls who has oily hair, first of all, we need to meet. But second of all, the Kinky Curly shampoo will be the best for you. Um, so what I did is I actually picked up this guy so never used him before except for today and I actually really liked it So I like the OGX a little bit more just because it has more of that lather, but this guy's really good too in consistency um, It feels uh, clean and it also doesn't dry out your hair. So this is the pro clean with coconut oil and it's a Sulfurate free shampoo, so that's what you're gonna look for especially anti-breakage as well, so um, I'm currently using this one. My husband is currently using the Shea Moisture coconut oil one So if I ever end up stealing his one day, I'll give you guys a little update on that one as well For us curly girls one thing you need to always have is a co-wash or a leave-in conditioner Whatever the case may be you'll see me use this a little bit later in the video and how I use it um, but it is another Coconut based one don't know why just love coconut like who doesn't and it's more of that creamy texture it's a little bit thicker so you'll see how i use it but it's usually um it's good for coating your hair don't use it often can't close this um don't use it too often just because it is very thick so it's going to weigh down your hair but um again for that moisture that lock in that one day a week you just want a deep treatment in your hair it's perfect this guy is the holy grail um great for I use it mainly for the top of my head, so usually I get little um, flyaways, little guys that want to just pop up, say what's good, um, and I kind of want to put them down and say goodbye, but also with baby hairs, anything like that, um, just to add an extra little coating that's going to seal in. I have used the green one, and then I've also used this one, so every one I've tried, I know there's different types, they're all pretty great, and the big guy will save you in the long run, 100%. Now comes the custard so the custard usually is just a gel uh, gels that you find for I guess any other type of hair type it's a little bit flaky it's a little bit strong it's easy for your hair to break in and if you've been a mixed girl and you know you didn't have the right supplies at home when you were younger you totally know what I mean by having your hair like just heavy and breaking all the time like I coat my hair in it 24-7, it was like a suit of armor and I thought it was the cutest little thing. Honey, you were not. Mm -mm. So what I found actually was that the Kinky Curly Custard is my saving grace. Now it does depend on your hair type. So I was talking to my hairstylist about this, I go to a curly specific salon 
if you're in the GTA area, holler at me, I'll give you details. But um, depending on your hair type, so that means different type of curls, um, your curl pattern, um, the length of your hair, but also if your hair is thick or thin, mine's thin, um, it really differentiates what kind of products you should be using in your hair just to make sure that it's the healthiest and um, really looks it as well, right? You want to nourish your hair as much as possible. But apparently the salon that I buy stuff at, it's not their go-to. They didn't have it in stock and I was, again, running on empties. It was going to be, you know, curly afro for days if I didn't go and get something. So my backup is always the Cantu. I remember running to a girl in Dynamite, and of course we hit on each other about a curly hair, and she said that she used this stuff. My hairstylist isn't a big fan, but she's not here right now. So, it is a good dupe for the Kinky Curly Custard if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper. Um, and then I picked up this guy. So I ran out, okay, that's a lie. Didn't run out, I lost my last one. This is just for parting your hair and your edges. Everybody else would use this as a teaser brush, but our hair has enough volume as it is, so please do not go teasing your hair. So that's pretty much the basics that I got today. Um, you'll also see me throughout the video use other products, and I'm going to list them all down below for you guys. Make sure that when you guys do your weekly treatments that you have everything you need. Um, do also try other products, like I will probably do an update in a couple months of what I switch to, especially as the weather gets colder, but list down below in the comments what you guys use and what's your holy grace like what is the one product that you realized really just gave the umph to your hair and really set it free um especially if you have hair like mine i'd greatly appreciate it because i love trying out new stuff Cause we don't know better And I thought we'd be different Yeah, we were on to some good shit We keep dancing with the devil But he doesn't have a back door Should be pulling away from the fire Should go, but I don't even try Gone in the deep end tonight Tonight, tonight I just wanna love ya So once you've twisted your hair, you've put in the custard or gel or whatever you're using, now it's time to dry it. So you can air dry it, that's totally an option, feel free, you got the time, do it. Me, if I don't do it, I'm gonna go crazy. You gotta get your blow dryer and make sure that it has a diffuser. So a lot of us mixed kids, your mom probably threw this away, but you, you're gonna keep it. And that's pretty much it yes please leave any recommendations below and um any advice any curly girl tips anything like that below and i will be looking and commenting as well so have a great day guys and i'll see you in the next one